CBC is delighted uh, to be the presenting sponsor again. And we are especially proud of our long-standing relationship with Skills for Change, which spans more than 15 years. I think diversity is an important element in business and in our community. And at CIBC, we think diversity is an important part of our culture. It reflects the communities in which we serve, and it's an important reflection of our workforce as well. Please join me in welcoming Mr. John Torrey. I think people come here principally because they know that this country presents them with the opportunity to be anything that they want to be, and that that is why they come here uh, for access to that opportunity. But let's face facts. Let's face facts, because I, you know, I, I think the most that that I can help you do as part of uh, this uh, most most interesting roster of speakers and panels today is to be honest with, with one another about the fact that yes, we're doing better than some, but let's be honest about something. Of those who are struggling today, and there are far more struggling just in this city region alone, if you want to just look at that, and they're not struggling relative to people in Haiti, I'll concede that point, but they're struggling. They're in these so-called priority neighborhoods, of which I have been to every one. And I can tell you, of those who are struggling, there are a disproportionate number of those who are newer Canadians, and who in many cases have a skin color that is other than white, it's black or brown or, or, or some other skin color, they are visible minorities, and that is a fact. I think the future of our country, uh, given that we have created this wonderful, diverse uh, population, uh, depends on our ability to effectively and completely integrate all of those people. They came here for opportunity, and I think it's going to be opportunity that we need to provide to them and connect them up with. They're people who have the skills, but they need to have the access to opportunity, and I think it's incumbent on the private sector to make sure that they reach out and, and include these people for their own benefit. There's a huge business case to be made for why diversity is a good thing in every workplace in Canada. And at Skills for Change, we're very proud to bring together HR leaders from corporate Canada for the future of diversity management, which we've called Workforce 3.0. Our sponsors and our speakers know that workplace diversity is the cornerstone of what can make a company and Canada great. Well, Canadian businesses have to respond to the re reality that the, uh, the workforce is shrinking and uh, that uh, we will be seeing most, all, if not all, of the Canadian work workforce being replaced by immigration in the coming five years, basically. Uh, there are many reports that speak to that. So we see this as a really important conversation to be having right now. If you want to have the very best and brightest people working in your company because that will help you to succeed, how can you do that if you are not having any access to, if you're not reaching out to the half of the population in the greater Toronto region, for example, that was not born inside the country? So from that standpoint alone, uh, it is a uh, sensible business to reach out to those people to establish links to hire people uh, from diverse backgrounds uh, in, in your company. We're going to start off with each of the speakers just saying a little bit about their work and some kind of trends that they're seeing because they all have really great experience. So I'm going to start with Yvette. I think what I've seen change over the last 10 years has been the level of accountability uh, at the leadership level to ensuring that diversity is just part of everything we do. You know, it's not an HR initiative. It's the way leaders like me who are working with our employees um, and our clients conduct our business every day. Uh, it affects our activities, it affects our behavior. And because the value itself and the way we articulate it is diversity for growth and innovation. Because we absolutely believe that it's a competitive advantage for us and um, it will make us more successful as a business from a financial results perspective, but as well grow our customer loyalty and uh, continue to um, uh, heighten the level of employee engagement we have. In terms of the changes that I've seen, I think uh, one of the biggest impacts I've seen is that we have moved from that kind of social justice, nice to have program to diversity being part of our core business. What makes us all Canadians is our belief in human rights, our belief in values, our belief in freedoms, our belief that everyone has the right and the opportunity to be the best that they can be at whatever it is they choose to be. And each of us have an opportunity to hold ourselves up to that and hold each other up to that. 
we are at a point uh, of need for change and um, we need as, of, as employers to be uh, you know really looking at diversity as uh, a, a, a point of innovation where we can um, advance our organizations both from the and have serious impact on both the bottom and top line and I think employers are really waking up to that they have been over the past you know five years or so but more so now than ever before I think a lot of it has to do with making a business case you know you, you would think that sort of doing good is good enough but it's not and so driving down to the bottom line showing how it's good for business is critical and the fact is it's not just good for business it's a necessity it's a global economy we need to not only recruit but retain talent so we have to think differently about diversity and who's buying our products and services people from all over the world so for, from the point of view that I see and the whole innovation here it's not just about quotas and doing things differently it's a business imperative to have diversity and inclusion as a core business value